<coughs> okay, so now we want to remove this alone main thread queries from uh, the software because uh, it, as I mentioned before it can uh, make the UI stuck and you don't want to rely on this. Instead you want to observe the data in the database so when there are changes coming to the database that's when you want to notify uh, on observer of some poor sort and update the UI. So let's say I have a list showing all the registered person. If a new person comes to the database that's when you want to update the list. And you need to do that asyn asynchronical and uh, that's why we are not going to use this anymore. So you can remove that. And uh, the relationship between uh, databases in Android is that you want you want to have uh, a database, a view model, and a repository that goes to the database. And I'm going to show that in an image right now, how that relationship is explained. Okay, so the fragment slash the activity is going to listen to the view model. The view model is going to call the repository and the repository is going to listen to the model slash room slash the database. Okay, so let's uh, start with the repository. So let's create a person repos repository. And this repository is going to be like a middleman between the database and the view model. So in this database, we're going to use the person now, person now, and we need a constructor for this uh, repository and we're going to take the application as a context here since we want to have the same context between the whole app so it's using the same database practically so we want to create a database here a person database database equals my person database get all right, uh, I forgot because uh, the database right now, we only create a abstract version of it. Uh, we only create one inside the main activity. So what we need to do is that we need to create an instance of the database. So when we create the repository, we create one instance of the database, which is going to be referenced all together. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the person database. I'm going to make a static function or not a function, uh, a static person database which is going to be the instance of this database. And to initiate this we're going to make a static function uh, person database get database it's going to be a final context, so I'm going to use the same context throughout the application, like this. And if the instance is not initialized, initialized, that's when we want to synchronize the person database class. Let's uh, oops, let here. Um, small letter, sorry. And if it's still, the instance is still null, null, we're going to create a new database. This is the same uh, as we did in the main activity before, so room dot database builder or equals room dot database builder and the context of get application contacts person database and the name of the database person database and 
and we need to do a fallback on destructive migration. Uh, this is because I'm not going to show in this video how you migrate the database. So let's say that you do some changes on the uh, how the database is built, then you need to migrate the, ver the old version of the database to the new version of the database. What this does is that it just wipes the database pretty much. So when you do an upgrade, it removes the old database and just creates a new version of it. Uh, if you want to keep the data when you update the database, you need to migrate it. And I'm going to show that in another video. So here we have, we create an instance of the database. So let's go back to the repository. So we're going to create the database here. This initializes the DAO from the database. And now we're going to make a function where we can get the data from the database. So in, and now we're going to use live data. And live data is what I talked about before. It's something you observe. So the live data is going to be a list of person. Let's name this at person. And it's going to return person dot get all persons. All right, so, so we need to change in our DAO now. Since this returns a list, let's make it a live data like this. It should be fine here, yes. So now we can go back to our main activity and we're going to create a view model first. And let's name this person view model. And this view model is going to extend Android view model. And here we need to create a person repository repository and a live data list person. And if you don't understand what the live data is, this is a live data which we're going to observe, and we're going to observe a list of persons. It's that simple. We're going to listen on the database when a change happens to the list of persons that exists. Let's name this person list this, and create a public constructor for this, a person and human, and we get the application from to get the application from the repository. Super repository, and the repository is a person repository with the application. Oh, sorry, new. And the person list is of what we created before. It's the repository that get person. And we need to create a function to g actually get this. Oh, it's going to be a live data list person again. Get all person. Like, oops, uh, like this. And it's going to return person list because we already initialized this right here. Okay, so now we can uh, get the data. So Let's go back to the main activity and we need to create a person view model, view model. And this is going to be a view model dot provider dot off providers dot off. Uh, and we need to We need to implement the life cycle in Android. So it's Android life cycle. I'm going to use the old one, 2.1.0. So let's sync this and we're going to type view model the providers of uh, this. So let's get 
and the view model, we want to give the view model provider dot class like this and now it's initialized so what do we want to do we want to do exactly this right here but we want to uh, this won't work anymore since we removed we're not going to use the database here the database is going to be unknown for the, this so we can comment this way and we want to use this here this we want to do exactly the same thing with the view model and the repository instead so we're going to use the view model and we want to get all persons and here comes the cool part we're going to observe this and the owner of this the life cycle is going to be this activity and i'm going to use a lambda experience here so let's name it personal list this uh, yes, I'm gonna set the language to level 8. That's not default for some reason. So what we want to do here, we want to for we're going to get we're going to receive a list. We want to loop for this list like, exactly like this. So let's put this. Okay, so it's going to be empty since we created a new database from a new view. So what we want to do is we want to create the same lifecycle where we can add people to the database. So what we're going to do is going to start with the repository. And here comes the tricky part because since we can't use the main thread, we need to make it uh, an as in asynchronical uh, asynchronized uh, task so we need to create a let's create a private static class insert async task which extends async task go to use a person void void And we have to create a private person now task now for this specific task and a constructor insert task now person now person now and the task now is going to be the person now and what do we want to do here? in the background we want to use this task now insert all the persons so we're going to insert people and we're going to take the argument of zero because we want to insert one at a time uh, now we need to go into and we need to create a function for this as well and it's going to be a void insert we're going to insert a person And it's going to be a new insert link task person now. I'm going to execute this with the person that we input. Okay, so let's uh, go to the view model and pretty much just use this function. So public void insert person. Let's use a person person. We're going to use a repository and insert person and this person. Okay, so let's go to the main activity and uh, let's just add a button. So we're going to make this a linear layout. Let's make it vertical and add a button. It's going to be like this. about that uh, text add person on id uh, button let's create this button 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 equals find find view by id r dot id dot button dot 
add button and button dot dot set on clicking it a new view dot on click this one and what do you want to do we uh, want to use the view model and we want to insert a person let's just insert part and let's uh, let's start with that so let's see let's start this we have zero we add a person we have one person as you can see this observer triggered when we added a person to the database it, uh, it doesn't react if it, it reacts on the start it adds everything at start but then it just sits there and listen and wait for something to happen to the database so if i add one more dot part you can see we have two part let's change this to listen Uh, as you can see, we add Lisa. We now have three people in the database, a Bart, a Bart, and Lisa. And this is how you use view model, you, a view model with the repository and the database relationship. The activity talks to the view model, the view model talks to the repository, and the repository uh, should be able to talk to on API and insert to the database and the database tells the repository and the repository is back to the view model and the activity or the fragments just sits there and listen and uh, wait for information to update and that's it for this tutorial and in the next tutorial I'm going to show a bit on how to migrate databases and stuff like that just some uh, tips how to manage the database if you want to make it a bigger scale and etc okay so thank you for watching bye